That's one. Yeah, well, Two, three. Yeah, that's, all right, that's, that's enough. All right. Let's, well, you ready? Did you prove wolf a point? Wolf did, you, did, 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 did you prove the point? Brakes work good. Yeah, you proved a point. I said it's enough. You're just going to keep doing it? Yeah. Okay. Woman, gonna slap the <laughs> out of you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's do the Wolf Dead Dino. Get off my hand! Oh, my love! Wolf Tick Nation, thank you guys for tuning in to once again <laughs> It is dropper post day. Wolfman is all excited about it, right? Because you uh, love I, dropper I, posts. I'm, I'm giddy. Big Sister Brandy sent this Trans X dropper post. It's a jump seat dropper. Now, uh, this dropper here is lower a... Lower your seat before you jump. This thing here is a remoteless or leverless dropper. So basically, well, you just got to reach right up under your seat. I know, but they call it levers or remotes. You just got to reach right up under your seat, and that sucker goes up or down. We're going to be talking about and installing um, this on the Marin Bellinas Ridge 2. And the reason why we're going to be mounting this on the uh, Marin... Old, uh, Cheech is because if you guys remember that bike came with a clamp a seat post clamp mm -hmm. that is the lock-on style it's not the uh, quick release. yes it did now but one there's one question that everybody I'm telling you right now I can feel it out what's there. the question Everyone, is this gonna interfere with the crotch cam <laughs> We've also made a couple of changes with the Marin Old Bolinas Ridge 2 Cheech. A lot of people are going, well, that's the bike you guys did the uh, tapered fork with a non-tapered head tube, right? Yeah. A matter of fact, it is. But we're going to show you guys a little bit of footage. A little while ago, we just fixed that headset cup on the bottom. What we did was we uh, popped that soccer back out. We took some material off of it um, after a lot of measuring just to make sure that we had the right amount and not too much. Right? We got that all... The uh, right amount? The right amount. We got it all handled. And we got that FSA. We got that thing nice and centered on the head tube with the badging of the uh, Marin. So we are set to go. We are ready. And um, another big reason why we wanted to uh, change the dropper, change to a dropper on this dropper. bike, that seat post is huge. It is massive. It's so big. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the specs of this. Okay? And uh, let's start mm -hmm. on the install on the uh, Marin. Old Cheech. Yeah. Hey, speaking of Cheech, where's hey. my cigar? Man? Hey. I don't know. Did you throw them away? No, no, I didn't. All right, guys, so here is the dropper post, and uh, you can get this thing. We'll put some affiliate links in the description below for $119. Now, there's a couple of things I like about it. Number one is this lever only goes up. I was thinking that would go down, but let me see if I can mash it down real quick. See, it goes up. And mash it. Okay, so it goes up to uh, compress it, and then to decompress, you just hit that sucker, bam, and it shoots right back out. So $119, that's pretty cool, but I think one of the big upsides to this dropper post is guys that have that problem like we do with the Marin where you have your mounting bolts for your bottle cage holder and these things interfere with it. Now the cool thing about this is this entire shaft, we'll call it the shaft, okay? Nobody get upset out there. <laughs> get everyone upset. Yeah, from here to here is seven and a half inches or 190 millimeters long, okay? And the minimum insertion line is four and three quarter inches or 120 millimeters. It's so short, you don't have to worry about any mounting bolts. So that's a pretty cool option. And again, man, you don't have to have any type of routing for this. You just put in your seat post tube and voila, we are good to go. You can see the uh, minimum insertion line there and the diameter is 27.2. So to be able to find a dropper post for $119 with uh, 100 millimeters of drop. Wow, 100 millimeters of drop um, at that price range man it's pretty freaking budget so uh, big sister brandy thank you so much for sending it to us uh, let's get the uh, marin over here and let's look at some of the positives and negatives i'm sure it's going to be just a quick install with this guy all right guys so we're about to install the drop we're going to take this one out this regular old seat post i'm going to explain a couple of things that um, i've been kind of trying to talk about and get some points across to wolfman over there but one thing i want to mention on this episode we forgot to mention it there's gonna be a little bit of mail time i mean Yes. Uh oh, and we've got a little bit of red action too. A first time ever. Everybody loves the truck talk, so we thought, you know what? How about a uh, truck mail time? Now look at this damn seat post. That thing is massive, man. 27.2, but it is longer than hell. Holy crap. So uh, this is something I want to talk about, okay? Now look how far this, that's as far as it will go down, but look. I mean, for a guy like me, this is a 29er medium, okay? I'm 5'5", and to ride this bike comfortably, um, I can't do it with this. Like this right here, I'm getting full extension on my legs and then a little bit. So I'm really excited about getting a drop up on this bike. Um, and it's almost like this bike was made for it, like we said, because it's got the lock style um, 
seat post clamp. Something I was talking about earlier was it interferes with the welds, I guess you can call it the weld, on the uh, bottle cage holder. And you can remove these and it still will not go all the way down. So I'm gonna do that real quick just to make sure. There was actually a couple of comments when we did this bike originally talking about not being able to drop down the seat post. People were saying, well, all you have to do is take out your bolts. Now that worked with the GT Aggressor Pro, but I'm guessing it's not gonna work with this. And Why it does not. I don't know, because it's just a different design on the seat post, but you guys so, can hear that. So everyone thought that you could have just taken those out and it would have went down, and it couldn't, it didn't. Yeah, it yeah. A just look at the ease of having to get your seat dialed in. So much easier design. Okay, we're just going to tighten this down. I thought that goes in the front. It goes in the back? It goes in the back. It goes in the front. No, it doesn't. It goes in the back. It goes in the front. It doesn't go in the front. If it went in the front, why would you have that much adjustment in the front? You see how it angles right here on the top? So it's got to go in the front. No, look, jump seat, transex is in the back, minimum insertions in the front. It goes like this. Google it. Yeah, so here I am. You can't, re you can't reach back like a pimp like that? I'm looking at reaching back like a pimp. And mounting in the back, Wolfman let me know it goes in the front. And you argued with me. Now I'm going to say one thing about this dropper. You want to hear what I have to say about it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to grease it up. But guys, this has been the best installation on a dropper post I've ever done. And everybody out there, especially old William Page, one of our patrons, you know how nervous people get whenever it comes to installing a internally routed dropper because all of the measurements you have to do before you cut it and there's really no going back? This right here completely gets rid of all that. And it's just as clean as an internal dropper. I mean, isn't it? There's really no argument there. If I could get it in the hole. There we go. There's really no argument there. I mean, it's just really easy. Now, make sure your lever is facing forward. But all right, so first thing, my seat needs to be adjusted a little bit. But right when I reach between my legs, I'm, I'm holding the lever right now, okay? <laughs> what are you doing? That's pretty good. All right, so one thing I'm going to say already is having to crouch forward and do this. And most of the time I probably would do it left-handed, maybe. But the problem is it feels a little crunchy. Can you hear that? Like really, listen. Let me listen. listen. No, it's, it sounds no. smooth, yeah. I'm gonna go with, it's going to, uh, it's probably gonna start losing some color over some time no, because it's, it's a really, weird position. Yeah. And the reason why is because I have to lean over in order to do it. I can't, okay. most time with a regular dropper, I'm here and I'll hit it, you know, and mm -hmm. I'll drop that butt down. And the nice thing I can say, I mean, is this bike here, everybody knows the SR Suntour, one of the big reasons I don't like uh, bikes with remotes is because once you get a dropper post put on it, the cockpit just becomes too much, right? And this one already has a three bat front, which hopefully we're going to be changing up pretty soon whenever we start doing more upgrades to the uh, cheat here. But um, I don't have to worry about the dropper lever now on the on the bars, mm -hmm. so that, that is nice. Uh, it just feels a little weird. Now it's great because it's nice and out of my way, right? And then let's see how fast it comes up. That's not bad on the mm -hmm. speed. That's about normal for either an external or an internal. So the speed's not an issue. I'm just worried about the overall feel of it. I, I think it's great because look, the, the alternative is you stop and you lower the seat or you stop and you raise the seat. I know, and that's a bummer. This right here is That to right. me, I like that. I'm not a dropper guy, but I think mm -hmm. if you're going to have one, and, the, and really the only reason to have one is to raise and lower it without having to stop, then I think that fits the bill and it doesn't clutter up the cockpit. All right, guys. Well, let's go to uh, the truck and let's do a little bit of mail time. Everybody's favorite segment. In the air conditioned. In the air truck. conditioned. Whew, let's do it. Guys, how about a little bit of mail time inside of the truck? This is a new one. Everybody's favorite segment. Let's do a little bit of mail time. Wolfman, you ready? Let's do this. Now, I get to grab the packages this time. Whoa, don't be grabbing no packages. All right, first package we got is from our boy, old Wes Graves. Oh, Wes Graves. Wes Graves been all been all over the internet lately been all over he's a damn celebrity on the internet yeah, i'm telling you over there over there at the bike chick tyler texas wearing his wolf tick video shirt yeah Wes graves thank you so much for thank doing you. that and uh, visit one of our patrons old the bike chick emailing us every day you guys got it? you guys picked it up yet oh has he here we go oh we got some tires oh i can't see you're gonna have to tell me about it <laughs> okay well you hold that one give me that oh 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 cool man all right Wes graves I got a sweet deal on these and thought you could use a set. Well, Wes always. Graves. Wes Graves, we could always you use tires. You can't have too much tires. Oh, cool. Candace, 
They are Honey Badger Downhill I like Pro. The name. 275 yeah. by 2.40. They feel legit. Wes Graves, thank you so much for the Honey Badgers, man. Yes. All right, next package. I don't know who this is from. It's a, it's a mystery package. It's a, all right, we got some notes in here. This is a new direct-to-consumer budget tire brand. Okay. $45 each. New Axum tires. So these need to be put on the Axum because the Axum tires suck. Yeah. Now, me saying that, Did who would ever... send us tires for the Axum? So Big Brother Kevin oh, okay. H. Let's go. see what we got here. Homeboy never does notes, so I'm glad you did. What did we get here? <laughs> These are called Steady he knows. He, he knows how much his tires suck in person. <laughs> Delium Grip on Adventure. Okay, and uh, we've got Steady Adventure 29 by 2.4 all around construction. Best for trail and enduro. Oh, those things look nice, Kevin. They look very nice. Look at that. Those uh, strong and light and easy to install. Suitable for e-bikes. Outstanding for retention. Tubeless compatible. Dude, the 2.4s, that's like the, the size of the day. Man. These are be going on the axle whenever we bring that bad boy back. Ugh. The bars are broke. <laughs> Kevin, thank you, man. Oh. It's tire day. What have we got here? Oh, that's this. our boys at Geo Handguards. Yeah, this is from our boys Geo Handguards, the helmet for your hands. It's been a minute since we've heard from these guys. Yeah, they didn't say anything. Did they say anything to you? I didn't hear anything. Didn't say anything to me. They hooked us up with, with all kinds of stuff. And they're the ones that gave you your drop frame helmet. Everybody talks about my drop frame helmet. Everyone, everyone. Okay, now we're trying to take the Kent back, right? Uh huh. One of the big issues with the Kent is the bent derailleur. Yes. Okay, it's so I'm thinking that this the is the Geo Handguards new. Product. Oh, and we know product. nothing about this. It's a new product from Geo oh, Handguards. Man. So it's not the Geo MTB handguards. It's not the Geo Max handguards. Okay. This is the derailleur guard by Geo. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what maybe if Kent would have used this, uh, we, man, maybe, maybe we'd have a good derailleur. We, we probably, we, hey, I tell you what, when we try it out, if we have the Kent bait and switch going, we might have to try that on there. Hey guys, you haven't heard from us lately, but we have been busy. And clothes are two of our newest products, Derailleur Guard by Geo. Strong, lightweight, and easy to install. One for you and one for a giveaway. Oh. Okay. Don't me. get derailed on the trail. Derailleur Guard by Geo. Get yours today, only $25. Oh, wow. Let us know what you think. We'd love to Zoom sometimes too. Great job on the continued <laughs> growth of your channel. Yours truly, Glenn and Sean at Geo. Great guys. All right. Great guys. Glenn and Sean, great guys. Yeah, their stuff feels very quality. Here is their, and I have no clue this, how this thing is going to install, but this is a derailleur guard. There she is. So, uh, Sean, Glenn, appreciate you guys for sending that. And, and uh, guys, stay tuned. Be on the lookout for the Geo uh, derailleur guard, and uh, I guess we're going to be giving one away. More beans, Mr. Taggart. Been Where'd you get for us? A while. Homeboy's from Pennsylvania. The OGs when it comes to buying some of our merchandise. Well, he, yeah, he was one of the originals, shirt. yeah. All right, so I see a micro shift shifter, an oh. Acolyte shifter. Oh, okay, Acolyte's great. Okay, eight-speed Acolyte shifter for love, all more beans, love Mr. Tagger. Acolyte. Jaguar one by Pro Shift cable set. Ooh. Dude, more beans. Yeah. A little bit of blue action. Oh, and we've got a little bit of red action too. Oh. Dude, he's hooking us up in the line department. Man, more beans, Mr. Taggart. Thank you. And it includes a whole bunch of stuff. Jaguar cable kit, man. Heck yeah. And a little shifter action. That's too cool. Shifter action. Yeah. More beans, Mr. Taggart. Man, I appreciate you. Always supporting the channel. Been commenter. Been a viewer for a very long time. But just overall a big supporter. Yes. And uh, hooking us up with some mail time once again. Thank you. Man, more beans, Mr. Taggart. Thank you so much, dude. All right. This, oh, this is from uh, well, one of our patrons. One of our patrons here, bam, sent to Wolf Tick Videos. This here is from our boy, old William Page. Oh, yeah, you didn't show his address, did you? I showed our address. Oh. All right, our boy from Georgia, one of our patrons as well. William, I gotta hurry up and get this out there, bud. What'd you get us? You'll lose the camera again. I know. All right, guys, I'm sure you will find a good use for these Shimano SLX two piston hydraulic brakes. Oh. Maybe use them on the 11? Oh, I would oh. say they are semi-budget at $136 each, but it would be good to compare against the other breaks you have done on real-time reviews. Keep up the great and entertaining content. Your boy, William Page. Wow, thank Damn, you, William. Damn, William Page. Oh, yeah. yeah, thank you, dude. Let's Damn. see what we got here. And he knows we have tried so many different breaks on this channel. 
God, the SLX, BLM7100. I like Shimano everything pretty much, but I like Shimano brakes better than I do, you know, the SRAMs are better than I do the, the uh, all the other brands that we've tested. I just, I, well, we haven't, had, we haven't tested those Clarks yet, uh -huh. but I like the Shimano. Um, these are very similar to the M6100s that Berserker Nick sent us a while back. I love that lever. Look at that lever. That's like a trigger. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> William Page, thank you so much for the brakes, man. And uh, thank you so much for being a patron. Yes, thank you. And for and for having the best collection of merch. He does have the best collection of merchandise. He's got he's got a match. Okay, we got two more pieces of mail left. Big brother Kevin H. Let's see what else you got. So you just hooked us up in the uh, tire department, right? Him and Wes Graves both. Look at that, a Camelback. Very awesome, man. Thank you, thank ball. you. Um, now, when we're out riding with Kevin and Brande, big ball. sister Brande, don't worry about it. Um, they were laughing at me because I had the I have a little bitty like joggers bottle of water that I carry <laughs> because it fits inside my uh, my fanny pack. Thank you so much for the water bottle and there's more inside this box, dude. <laughs> Look at that! I can't see. Holy can see. crap! What is dude, it? that's a massive fanny pack that holds a water bottle. Oh crap! <laughs> so, so <laughs> Dude! So they didn't just get you a big old bottle to know what to do with now. You Look at that. Look at that. Yes, because my excuse for not having a bottle cage, which um, which oh, we've gotten hooked up with here recently, my excuse was, look, I can't have a bottle cage on all of the bikes, and the reason why is because i got to unscrew it and put another one, put another one, and Brandy was just not having it, right? So I'm sure they used both their heads, put them both together, and bam. Hey, and we got some notage, it looks like, too. We know you were attached to your little bottle and pack, but summer is coming, and you need more hydration on the trail. Brande and Kevin. <laughs> so those, and last but not least, we've got electrolyte fast shoes. God, they think of everything. They do. Salt sticks. They're, Thank you. Uh, Thank you so much, both of you. Um, big supporters, both patrons. They're very quick. Yeah, they're very quick. quick. Brandy, mm. Kevin, thank you guys so much. Man, I'm going to be hydrated and uh, styling and profiling on the trails. All right, we got one more package, mail time. It's the man. Who's the man? Oh, Dayford. Oh, Dayford, baby. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Dayford is, uh, whoop, 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 whoop. hey, he's from New York. Hey. You know he's got that accent. Meatball. A little bit of notage. Hey. Yo, 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 what up, gents? Just some small stuff for your inventory. Hey, you guys rock and roll as always. Keep that stuff. Whoop, whoop. Maybe the IXF can go on the Patreon build. Oh, <laughs> P.S. I know my writing sucks. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Dayford, baby. No, your impersonation of Dayford sucks. <laughs> that might have to go on the Patreon build. Can't go wrong with oil slick because it matches with everything. Oh, dude. A 30 tooth oil slick chain ring. Oh, man. Hell yeah, Dayford. Dude. Some pink end caps. Uh oh. Pink end caps for the grips. Or some bar ends. Oh hell yeah, dude. Some race face chest or race face half Nelson grips. I'm a thin grip man, baby. You know it, everybody knows it. And this is one of my favorite grips. Race face half Nelsons. Day for damn, dude. Rock bro. Yeah, I think the we best. have some like this that we have it on is. one of the builds. Oh dude, we got some fookers. Oh, fookers. Oh, those are awesome looking. Berserker is gonna be jealous on those guys. Look at those. Green Fooker pedals. Oh, Dayford, the man, one of our patrons, big supporter of the channel. Dude, thank you so much, Dayford. Damn, that's hell of a package, man. We got goodies for a bunch of stuff now. Yeah. Well, please give this video a like. Please subscribe if you are not a part of the Wolf Dick Nation. And, uh, man, we will see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys for watching, as always.